survey, number 10. <laughs> All right, guys, so let's talk about Georgia Tech's waitlist, particularly for the OMSCS program. So that waitlist can get pretty long, and sometimes you need a class to finish your specialization or just one that you're really interested in, and you're on the waitlist. So I'm going to show you guys historical statistics on how likely you are to get into the class based on what position you are in the waitlist. Now these are facts, so this is helpful to you to understand where you might get into the class or where you might want to try a different class for that semester. That being said, I would highly recommend if you ever really need a specialization class to finish the program, you email your advisor, which I'll link down in the description below. Let's get started. All right, so I will link the school doc in the description below. But basically, it'll show you historical data on which classes had how many people on the waitlist and how many actually got in. So this was spring 2020. And if you look here, you can look at one, for example, data and visual ana analytics. The capacity was 400. The remaining was 400. There was 500 capacity on the waitlist. No one was on the waitlist at that point. Now let's go to something more recent. So let's check out. OK, so let's take, for example, this class high performance computing. So on August 13th to the 14th for the fall 2020 semester, the waitlist actual number, there were 231 people on that waitlist. Let's fast forward to just one day later, you already see that number drop to 178. So in just one day, over 50 people got into the class, which is actually pretty promising. So even if you're like spot 100 or 150, you will most likely get into that class. This also helps you understand how many spots there will be in a future semester because some semesters have more spots. Of course, the program is always changing, but this can help you kind of understand what classes you want to take which semesters. It can help guide your decisions. For me personally, the worst situation that I got into was spring 2023. I was trying to get into grad algorithms to finish the program. And when I registered, I was spot 247 on the waitlist, and there were zero spots available to get people in. So I just kept track, like every day I'd go back and check my spot because this would really determine what class I needed to take going forward. But anyways, one day later, I got down by like 30 spots and they hold some spots for the people who just got availability. You have, I think, 24 hours after your spot becomes available to claim it. And if you don't claim it, you're kicked off the wait list and it goes to the next person. So then the next day, it's just held the same. Next day, it's just held the same. But then, I don't know if this was one day later, but it might have been a few days later. I was suddenly the 33rd person in the line and there were 12 available spots. And I actually did get into this class for spring 2023. I also took notes on a different semester that I needed to get into. This was summer 2022. So the wait list, it says here 615. This was for computer networks. And let's go down here. I don't think I kept track as well as I did for that other one, but I did get into this class. So I'm almost certain that I was 615 on that wait list and I still got into the class for the summer semester. And then finally, here's another one. This was spring 2022. Um, I'm not sure, let's see, I'm not sure which semester or which class I was supposed to be taking this semester, but at one point I was spot 139 and I did it the reverse. There was 11 spots and I was 139, then there were 12, then there were 14, yada, 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 and it kept going up in number of spots available and down in what position I was on the list until finally I got into that class. So let's recap. First wait list time for me, the worst one was 247. I still got into the class. A different one supposedly was 615. That might be different. I'm not quite sure. But definitely when I was 139, I still got into that class. So this is a good way of just measuring your expectations because yes, it can be tough to wait and just see if people are going to drop the class or change or whatever. But have hope because look at these statistics. Based on these statistics, you can most likely still get into the class that you need to get into, even when it's at 250 people. 